Blackmagic RAW A RAW format developed by Blackmagic Design and used by a variety of Blackmagic cameras. This format relies on the increased processing capabilities of modern cameras to perform a certain amount of in-camera pre-processing, including noise management, sensor profiling, and edge reconstruction, to partially demosaic the image and then re-encode the result, factoring in the characteristics of the originating image sensor. The image is encoded in such a way as to later enable typical RAW controls but with efficiently compressed files, using a custom non-linear 12-bit space, that are not computationally challenging to decode and use. BRAW media can be encoded at either a constant bitrate, with variable compression of 3, 5, 8, and 12 colon 1, or at constant quality, with a variable bitrate. BRAW Sidecar Metadata Files BRAW files have been designed to accommodate descriptive metadata that enables look management from onset through post. This metadata is both embedded in the BRA files and included within sidecar files that are saved alongside the media. Metadata sidecar files that are present always takes precedence over the embedded metadata for purposes of decoding. However, if there's no sidecar file, decoding of the BRA file falls back on the embedded metadata. Blackmagic RAW Master Settings these parameters let you choose the decode quality and method that raw clips will be transformed to use when debayered. Decode quality lets you debayer bra files at full, half, quarter or eighth resolution to improve performance on slower systems. Lower resolution media is lower quality but faster to work with and process. If necessary, you can choose a lower resolution setting that provides better real-time playback on systems with limited performance while you work, and then switch to a higher quality when rendering the final output. A forced deb air residential to highest quality checkbox in the render settings list of the deliver page makes it easy to follow this workflow. Decode using, the option you select determines whether all bra media throughout the project is decoded using the original camera metadata settings, using project settings in which you choose custom settings to be applied to all clips, or using the Blackmagic RAW default settings. Project settings, these parameters let you choose the color science, white balance color space, gamma, and other visual settings guiding how the image will be transformed to suit your program and RCM. Color science, lets you choose what version of camera color science you want to use to decode bra media. Camera metadata, chooses whichever version of color science was selected by the camera at the time of shooting. Gen 4, the original version of color science available for recording and decoding dot bra media. Gen 5, a newer more film-like curve designed for better skin tones and high contrast saturation color response. White balance, the first seven options offer white balance presets, which automatically adjust the color temp and tint parameters. These options include daylight, cloudy, shade, tungsten, fluorescent and flash. An eighth option, custom, makes the color temp and tint parameters user adjustable. Color space, debayering broad data requires choosing a color space to convert the raw signal into. Bear in mind that the color space you choose is merely a starting point for further correction. There is no requirement that you choose one or the other color space for any given workflow, and all settings will yield high-quality image data suitable for further color correction. You should choose the color space that provides the most pleasing starting point for your particular project. Gamma, there are several options available for choosing a gamma profile to be used when debayering bra media. Which one is best really depends on how you like to work, as all will yield high-quality image data without clipping the signal internally within DaVinci Resolve's image processing pipeline. Even though some of these options will produce a range of image data that will clip on output, all of that image data is preserved under the hood and can be used and retrieved in your grade. Highlight Recovery a checkbox that lets you include additional highlight sensor data that's usually clipped by the standard decoding matrix. In cases where you have extremely clipped peak highlights, you may obtain additional image detail this way, although it may contain unusual color artifacts. Gamut compression prevents monochromatic, highly saturated light sources from clipping the gamut. 
Apply LUT applies color metadata to the BRAW file from the selected LUT source. LUT source, choose the color metadata from the sidecar file or the metadata embedded in the clip. Saturation adjusts the color intensity of the image. One is unity. The range is zero, desaturated, through plus four, extremely high. Contrast increases contrast by raising the top of the signal and lowering the bottom of the signal about the midpoint slider, described below. Raising this value increases contrast, while lowering this value lowers contrast. 1 is unity. The range is 0, minimum contrast, to plus 2, maximum contrast. Midpoint, the level about which contrast is either expanded or contracted. 0.41 is unity. The range is 0, black, to plus 1, maximum white. Highlight roll-off makes it easy to selectively retrieve blown-out highlight detail in high dynamic range media by lowering this parameter and achieves a smooth blend between the retrieved highlights and the unadjusted midtones for a naturalistic result. 1 is unity. The range is 0, minimum, through plus 2, maximum. Shadow roll-off lets you selectively lighten or darken shadow detail. Raising this value retrieves shadow detail recorded below 0% while leaving the midtones alone. 1 is unity. The range is 0, minimum, through plus 2, very high. White level, a gain setting for adjusting the highlights. Black level, a lift setting for adjusting the shadows. Use video black level, a legacy video setting that adds pedestal to the video signal. Four people using video equipment dating from when shoulder pads were cool. Use camera metadata. The most elemental camera metadata settings for exposure and color that are available. Deselect the use camera metadata checkboxes to activate the controls. Exposure increases or lowers image lightness in units relative to f-stops. If your intended exposure adjustment lifts image data above the maximum white level, don't worry, all image data is preserved and can be retrieved in subsequent adjustments. Zero is unity. The range is minus five to plus five. Color temp, only available when white balance is set to something other than a shot. Designed to alter the warmth of the image. Adjustable in Kelvin. Lower values correct for warmer lighting, while higher values correct for cool lighting. Plus 5,500 is unity. The range is plus 2,000 to plus 50,000. Tint, only available when white balance is set to something other than is shot. Designed to alter the green to magenta balance of the image, for images with fluorescent tinting. Lower values add green to compensate for magenta lighting, while higher values add magenta to compensate for green lighting. Zero is unity. The range is minus 150 to plus 150.